Roblox is in so much trouble. This Roblox game is genuinely illegal. Convincing your viewers that they are not going to go to heaven if they scroll past your video. 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 It's a domino effect. A ticking time bomb, you will. Roblox cooled very well. Me this demise tomorrow. By the same people that let it grow to this multi-billion dollar global empire this today. Here's how Roblox YouTubers, albeit unconsciously, seriously lead to issues within Roblox at its core. Welcome to how YouTubers could lead to the fall of Roblox. Okay, let's play a game. What do these videos have in common if we remove the fact they are all about Roblox? Many of you will probably have differing answers, but overall majority will say it's negative. This is by design. They are made to make you angry. But why? Why are YouTubers with millions of subscribers want to make you angry? Well, Roblox YouTubers tend to psychologically trick you into clicking the video. This might seem like a conspiracy, but this makes sense. Hear me out. Back when we were banging rocks to make Ooga Booga fire, we did not have the protection we take for granted today. That means if there's something good happening, you would say, oh, that's great. But if something bad happened, you will need to act fast. Reason? This was often because it was severe. It needed immediate attention. It may have been a bear attacking your tribe or a predator trying to take down your tribe. Perhaps one of your comrades have died. Immediate action was needed to neutralize the threat at hand. Because if you didn't... Okay, maybe maybe that's a little bit stretching it, so I'll go with something a, a bit more every day. You know why your sleep schedule is 3am for most of y'all? This back then was used to make people watch over their people while they slept in case of danger. And when they woke up, the people that watched over them went to sleep. Hence why your sleep schedule is completely random sometimes. This same thing goes with the example from before. Okay, so back to psychologically tricking you into clicking on videos and how it may lead to Roblox's fall. Roblox YouTubers want you to click, including me. The best, safest and easiest option to do so is to have a negative narrative to make you click. And this is proof that it worked because you are here right now. Listening to me ramble about Roblox YouTubers making Roblox fucking plummet to the ground. You can't hide, I know you. This of course is cool and all, it leads to more views, nothing bad about that, until it gets weaponized. Take Uwu Cute Single for example. She weaponized this very tactic to gain millions of young people to subscribe, click dodgy links, etc. Only to be exposed by the people using the very same strategy to prove a point that what they are doing is bad. There are more people like this. Lisa Gaming Roblox is a big one. Well, no, this is not to make fun of the current situation. This is an example. The constant pressure to make you angry could lead you to go, that's it, I'm done. Instead of clicking, you quit Roblox or YouTube altogether, forcing the creator and Roblox to slow down in growth. This isn't a conspiracy either. How many of you use an ad block to watch this video? Well, 760 million of you do. Do they hate supporting developers and creators worldwide? No, they don't. They simply don't want to be bombarded by 30 ads. You don't start using an ad block right away as your very first day on the internet. You have to eventually go and say, Okay, I'm done with these. This, these ads, they are too much. Same could be kinda applied to negativity on Roblox videos. You will eventually reach a point of, okay, this is too much. And this will make you stop watching these videos. Promoting Roblox videos less to new users. Halting the growth of Roblox. This of course can make investors go, I'm out. 
more than I already do. Even reading less are new, there's less ways to, for Roblox to improve its platform. Link to less videos, um, how to the growth further, you get the point. The worst part isn't just you getting sick of all the negativity, no no no. The worst part is that Roblox YouTubers keep testing the water to see how negative they can get, until eventually it will backfire. This very fact forces smaller channels like me and many more to improvise and out-anger the audience because the big YouTubers already out-angered their predecessors, leading to them being out-angered. Then, the out-angered get to be out-angered again, and you get the point, which ultimately leads to a point of no return, which the only thing you've seen is rage and hatred, luring the new and old players away. But until then, enjoy your favorite LEGO game, and wait, as the very game you enjoy playing crumbles to the ground. Good night.